My name is George Sweeting, a pastor evangelist and a close friend of John Edmund Hagee. In 1942, I enrolled as a student of the Moody Bible Institute of Chicago, Illinois. And that's where I met John Edmund Haggai. He was age 18 from the state of Massachusetts. I'm five months younger than John. John was energetic, super optimistic, bold, and vocal about his goals for life. Some thought that John was overconfident. However, most of his dreams really came true. John's parents were also graduates of the Moody Bible Institute of Chicago in the year 1913. Mildred and Waddy Haggai were a choice couple. John's father was a good pastor. I had the honor of leading several evangelistic series at churches he pastored. John's father came from Damascus, Syria, and his mother, Mildred, was from New England. They were a loving couple with three sons. While I was a student at the Moody Bible Institute, I led a series of evangelistic services at the Euclid Avenue Baptist Church in Bristol, Virginia. And that's where I met Christine Barker. I urged her to think about coming to Moody as a student, and she did. And that's where she met John Edmund Haggai. They courted, and one day after graduation, they were married. I was there, and I had the privilege of serving as their best man. Over the years, I've had the honor of ministering in each church that John pastored. Our friendship was warm and continued for 78 years. I'm sure all of John's friends know that John was a super user of the phone. He would phone me every week and sometimes every day and sometimes several times a day. In old age, he would repeat some of the same phrases. He would end saying, George, you have an exceptional set of pipes, referring to my voice. But best of all, about John, from childhood, he had a heart for Asia. He had a heart, of course, for the whole world. But Asia was his passion. I sincerely loved John, and I miss him already deeply and I can't wait to see him in heaven Philippians 1 6 being confident of this that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion to the day of Jesus Christ